For homework question 32, we're given the following information. When I have 0.1523 grams of liquid pentane, and I put it in a bomb calorimeter and I combust that pentane, the temperature of the bomb calorimeter rises from 23.7 degrees to 29.8 degrees Celsius. What is the change in energy for that reaction in kilojoules per mole pentane? Given the heat capacity of the bomb calorimeter is 5.23 kilojoules per degree Celsius. So we're going to have two different parts of this calculation. The first part of this calculation is I need to find the energy released from the pentane during that combustion process. And for the first part, I need Q equals C delta T, where C is the heat capacity of the bomb calorimeter, T is the temperature change that the bomb calorimeter went through, and Q is what I'm looking for. That's the amount of energy transferred. So Q is my unknown. My heat capacity for the calorimeter is 5.23 kilojoules per degree Celsius. And my temperature change, I would get my temperature change right here. So I go from 23 degrees to 29 degrees. So that's a change of 6.1 degrees Celsius. So the Q of the calorimeter, right, the calorimeter absorbs this energy, is 31 0.903 kilojoules. The trick is the Q of the reaction, right, the combustion of pentane, the pentane released this energy, so it's a negative 31.903 kilojoules. So because the calorimeter absorbed this energy and went up in temperature, it's because the reaction lost an equal amount of energy. Next, we want to put this in terms of kilojoules per mole of pentane. Just look at the units, right? We're looking for kilojoules per mole. Right now, I just have kilojoules. So somehow, I need to get this in terms of kilojoules per mole. So what I want to do for liquid pentane, pentane is C5H12. Well, that means I have five carbons at, tw at 12 grams per mole and I have 12 hydrogens at one gram per mole. So I need 60 grams of the carbon. I need 12 grams of the hydrogen, right? Pentane is 72 grams per mole. So I have 0.1523 grams of pentane, and I need to have 72 grams for one mole of pentane, so I'm going to divide that by 72 to get 0.1523 divided by 72, approximately 0 0.002115 moles of pentane. Now to put this in kilojoules per mole, right? Okay, I've got 31.903 kilojoules. That was the amount of energy released when I burned 0 0.002115 moles of pentane. So I divide those two and I should get the answer in kilojoules per mole. That comes out to be about 15,082 kilojoules per mole. And that's a negative from my negative change in energy for that reaction. For my significant figures, I've got four significant figures here, three here, and three here. So I report this to three significant figures. I would say negative 1.51 e to the 1, 2, 3, 4 kilojoules per mole. We found the energy that the calorimeter absorbed. That energy came from the reaction, came from the combustion of pentane. And then, because I know the mass of pentane in the reaction, I can find out how many moles of pentane, and I can relate that energy to kilojoules per mole.